Hey everyone, William Miller, National Brands Manager. Really excited to have David Dilworth here from Cruiser RV. Uh, in the world of toy haulers, you've given the customers a lot of things to be excited about in 2021. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you and the Stryker team have done to uh, bring so much excitement into the next year? Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be refreshed inside and out. Um, and one of the first things that's gonna grab your attention is the new exterior graphics package and paint scheme on the front cap. We had a great product following and we just, really wanted to have it be a more accessible brand to a wider audience. Um, and I think this front cap just adds a lot of a curb appeal to it and is, um, is gonna appeal to a wider audience. And it really helps the exterior flow seamlessly within the, the interior, which is a unique thing to have in a toy hauler lineup. All right, David, so we're on the exterior of the ST2714 floor plan. Let's talk a little bit about the features that customers can be looking forward to uh, for next year. Yeah, sure. We're really excited about this floor plan. We have two new floor plans this year that integrate outdoor kitchens on the outside um, with a king bed slide out in the front of the unit. So it's going to be uh, just a, a neater front living area um, and just another choice that our customers can have. So very excited about that. So you'll have a two burner grill, refrigerator. It's going to be under this really nice size awning so you can create a wonderful outside camp space. And then something else exciting that we're doing on our floor plans is we're moving our fuel station if we want to take a look yeah. to the door side on our campers. So if you think about it, uh, a lot of folks who use these campers will put their camps uh, in a big horseshoe yep. and then your fuel stations on the other side of your camper or in your other your friends or neighbors campsite so that's really not that functional to have this on the door side it's going to be really easy for it to pull up your side by side or motorcycle and fill that up uh, and be on the road again awesome now this being a toy hauler these do go off grid so it's important that how they get there um, you know, is smooth for the customer. So can you talk a little bit about just uh, functionality and what we've done for the suspension to ensure that they have a smooth ride? Sure, yeah, there's a few things that touch on that off-grid nature of our campers. Um, we'll get to the suspension in a second, but all of our campers are gonna be solar prepped, which is great. Oh, wow. All of them are generator prepped, and you can get either a 4,000 or a 5,500 um, uh, gen from the factory. Okay. So you can truly go off grid in a striker. Now to the suspension systems, one of my favorite things about the striker toy hauler line, and it's something that gets overlooked uh, a lot of times. So it's important that we talk about it. Every one of our strikers is gonna have greasable wet bolts on all the basic transition points or shackles on the suspension. So you can grab that little greaser gun, grease up your bearings, grease up your bushings, and you're gonna have a lot smoother ride. We also have 16 inch E-rated tires. So they're larger tires and an upgraded tire for enhanced durability. And then on every one of our floor plans, with the exception of one, because it has a big side patio, we have a gas piston shock going to each one of the axles. So there's a total of four gas piston shocks. Imagine what you're putting in the back of these most of the time. Granted, kayaks, bikes, but your power goods, um, suspension's probably important to you. If you just ran down the road on springs alone, you'd probably have a pretty crappy ride on your toy. Just imagine basically every other toy hauler you're putting your toys in, that's what you're going down the road with. So everything's gonna be bouncing around. The gas piston shocks really complete the suspension system to help you have a smoother ride. And in between our shackle, where the suspension system moves back and forth, we also include a rubber damper elastomer there too. So really every point we can give you extra durability and enhanced ride, we give that to you on a striker. Fantastic. David, I can't say enough uh, about our team and their effort and what they put together in this 2714 floor plan. Uh, can you talk a little bit about just everything that we're seeing and that our customers are going to see in 2021? Yeah, absolutely. And and credit to the team is definitely due um, from the interior design with Andrea Graves and um, the rest of our engineering team, production operations and purchasing. We really were able to, to change the striker inside and out, offer three new floor plans that are unique and innovative. Um, um, and do that in some trying times. So it's it's just a really exciting time for the Stryker brand uh, and just really excited for the new floor plans we're gonna be offering to our customers and dealers. And when we talk about innovation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, sit, we're, we're sitting at a spot right now. So this is a brand new table. It's uh, made out of a metal, so powder coated metal, and it's in an indoor outdoor table. Historically, you would see some T-molded countertop that was on pedestal legs that was difficult to move around, heavy, or a pressed countertop, um, which is still um, a little bit heavy, and it's, it's wood. So if you get it wet, 
over a long period of time, it might not be that great. So this is an awesome table you can take outside, put on your outdoor patio, have a nice picnic around. You can put it out front under your awning. Um, just again, lightweight, functional, and that's the whole idea of toy haulers is to really be the Swiss Army knife of campers. And definitely, I mean, we're clearly delivering, delivering a lot more value to our customers, uh, especially with a simple concept like this. Can we talk a little bit about the seating and then uh, how this can be converted into sleeping? Yeah, one of the things that makes toy haulers great is, is their functionality and their enhanced uh, basically entertaining space um, and sleeping space. So in this setup right now, um, you can enjoy a cocktail, um, glass of milk, cookies, whatever you want, uh, and you have this really nice sofa set up. And if it's easy to just fold this over and you have a queen size bed here on the bottom and this lifts up and then you have another queen size bed on top. So in this floor plan, if you take your toys out, you can sleep six comfortably. Uh, and you have enough room to add another air mattress here if you wanted. But it's just a really comfortable, um, comfortable floor plan, great living space. We have tall ceiling heights. Uh, we lightened up the inside of the, the striker as well. You'll notice our larger windows. We have some night roller shades that are going to be standard across the line, which is awesome. Um, we added nice accent lighting in the happy jack system area so you're going to get more lighting from the natural light but if you drop your shades at night and you want to put a little bit more lighting on your table that's what that accent lighting does um, all of our open concept floor plans have a have a 12 volt ceiling fan too which really circulates the air uh, and creates a nice ambiance i mean i i love this floor plan um, and you can bring a, bring along your toy all the way up to those latest and greatest uh, 1000 cc four seat razors, turbos, um, and loaded up with kayaks, bikes, really whatever you want. Just a really awesome, fun floor plan. Yeah, it's beautiful. So when you're looking at a toy hauler, it's really important to know, uh, really, in my opinion, a couple things when it comes to pulling the camper down the road and securing your toys. One is the suspension system. So how's your camper gonna ride when it's going down the road, which we already addressed, but how are you gonna hold down your toys on the inside? What I love about Stryker is every striker uses these 5,000 pound tie down rings. They're gonna be bolted through backer plates and we have 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood floor throughout our camper. So you're gonna have a very secure tie down system and this floor plan in particular will have at least nine tie downs. So you'll have three across and we'll go as far forward as we can. It's definitely a safe, smooth ride for all the toys you wanna bring along with you. So the 2714 is a great new floor plan that offers a 14 foot garage, which is great because you can bring all the latest and greatest toys with you. Um, so bring what you want, you'll be able to get it to your campsite safely. The other nice thing about it is when you take your toys out, you have a 14 foot long by eight and a half foot wide space to give you just about 120 square feet of living area. It's really unheard of in a camper this size. And it's one thing that makes toy haulers so unique. Make sure you go to your local dealer and take a peek. I think you're gonna love what you see. So right off the bat, and I'm gonna to have to have you speak about all of this. I cannot believe this space. We're not in a fifth wheel. No. This is a travel trailer. Can you talk about you know what's, what's new for 2021 here in the Master? Yeah, so we have really excited because we have two floor plans that are gonna have this new king bed slide out and you, you really hit home with your comments on the space. I actually feel you have more space in here than a fifth wheel. I'm six foot three and I'm wearing boots and I, I still have a foot of space above me in the master bedroom. I mean, there's really nothing that feels like this that's out there. So um, just a, a larger, more functional bedroom. You have storage galore, uh, easy access to a closet with a sliding mirror, and then overhead cabinets in the master above the, above the bed. You have cabinets across the way and easy access to your bathroom. It's really a home run when it comes to a master bedroom and a toy hauler. And, and no, it's exactly what our customers have been asking for and looking for. Yeah, I can't give enough credit to our design team. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing what we were able to accomplish. All right, David, we're on the exterior of the STG 3313. What can customers expect out of this floor plan? Well, this is really the ultimate adventure vehicle and the ultimate entertainment vehicle. And you can see right away that we have this awesome outdoor kitchen. So think about when you get done with a day of playing on the dunes or hitting the tracks. You can come out here, sit under this giant awning and watch your videos on the TV out here. We're also gonna have a TV in the living area with space to entertain six to eight people. And then we have a 13 foot six enclosed garage. 
where you can add a second, another TV if you wanted, um, aftermarket, and then it has a half bath. So you have a bath and a half, 13 and a half foot enclosed garage, two TVs standard from the factory and our new king bed slide in the master bedroom. It really is the ultimate adventure vehicle and the ultimate entertainment vehicle. Awesome. So David, we're on the optional patio um, and just, I wanna talk innovation and what most people take for granted, a table. Yeah. Uh, what has our team done uh, to give uh, the customers a lot of flexibility in what we're seeing right here? Yeah, we, we really just looked at the utility of a toy hauler. And one of the nice things about this rear patio system is you can increase your living space, which is just great to do. Um, but historically, indoor, or the tables were indoor only use, made out of wood or tea molded. We just looked at, I mean, what could we do differently? So we have a real nice powder coated indoor outdoor table that you can leave outside. Um, it's gonna withstand the elements really well. And if you pick one of our floor plans that has the Happy Jack system in the back, which all of them do, and it has an additional seating area in the, the living area is in the form of a sofa of some type, you're gonna get a secondary table. And when we designed that secondary table, we made sure it was the same width as the other one. So you literally can put these together and have a nice picnic area outside on your patio you can use this for a serving table, buy your nice outdoor kitchen on this floor plan, and it just really increases the functionality of your space. Wonderful. So one of the great things about the 3313 is it's enclosed garage. You see we have a real nice door with some detail to it, and it's a heavy door. And then this floor plan has a half bath. So a bath and a half, and your half bath is in your back garage area. And your garage space is 13 foot, six inches deep or long and then it's still a wide body so each one of our floor plans can fit that four seat side by side turbo unit in here easily and comfortably so dave i just can't get over this is not a fifth wheel <laughs> um you know can we talk a little bit about this space in terms of again functionality and you know one thing i want to point out does this have uh, wi-fi accessibility as well yeah absolutely all of our floor plans are going to have wi-fi accessibility so when you're out on that road, off grid, you can flip that switch and you'd be ready to go. You just need to buy an aftermarket accessory and we make it real easy for you to do. And I'm sitting here in a very large sofa. I mean, I think three to four comfortably, no problem. Yeah. Uh, you there at the bar top. Yeah. I mean, can we just talk about this large floor yeah. space? So when we thought about the 3313, we wanted to hit a home run everywhere, yeah. which is hard to do. You know, it's you have a limited amount of space. What do you do with it? But we give you our new, master bedroom setup, which gives you that king bed slide, tons of space. And again, I mean, seven foot or whatever of, of overhead space, it just feels massive, like a fifth wheel, even bigger. Yeah. Uh, and then the living area, just feels like a living area that you normally see in a fifth wheel. And it's it's great. I mean, you three to four comfortably can sit. You have this nice raised countertop area here where you can um, relax at the end of the day. Great viewing angle of the TV, great place to have a conversation with somebody working in the kitchen and relaxing. I mean, I think it's just amazing. And then carry that back to the garage. To have a 13 and a half foot enclosed garage, you're gonna fit all the latest and greatest toys, plus you get the bonus of a half bath. So a bath and a half, great bedroom, amazing living area, and truly functional garage. With a massive outdoor kitchen, it's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, this floor plan is incredible. Utility and function is all I keep seeing in the Stryker product. We're in the 3414, um, again, just blown away. Can you kind of speak to this new floor plan? Yeah, so it's an open concept floor plan, as you can see in the back, which I love. Um, really, you can't go wrong in closed garage or open concept with the Stryker, but the amount of space you get when you take your toys out is just phenomenal. So 14 foot garage, um, you're going to have the happy jack system in the back so you can sit down relax like we're doing right now have a nice conversation our larger open concept floor plans are going to come standard with the two euro recliners which is nice and then just a real functional space and then as we move forward in the 3414 we'll see a couple surprises as we get to a unique feature that i haven't seen on a travel trailer toy hauler and then we have a new patent pending feature in the master bedroom that will be really nice to take a look at great you know, Dave, I have to say this whole pandemic has really pushed the envelope in terms of creativity and thinking what the future uh, needs to be mm -hmm. uh, for our customers. Can you talk a little bit about what this space does, not just from an entertainment standpoint, but again, added functionality in 2021? Yeah, so the the neat thing about this space on the 3414 is it's a, it's a bonus room. 
and a bonus room and an open concept floor plan. So think about how you're going to use your toy hauler. Um, if you're filling it up with a side by side or, or, or other toys in the back and that space is, is taken up when you're on the road in the 3414, you can have the slide room in and still use this space. So you can have your, your toy secure while you're traveling, your toy secure at night, if you're in an area you're not comfortable with, and have this bonus living area. So that is a trifold sofa that actually, it's a slide out sofa, so it'll fold out, glide out really easily so two people can sleep comfortably. You have a wonderful desk space that you can add your own TV to, overhead cabinets above you for extra storage, and then you have a wonderful closet in here as well. It, it really opens up what you can do with a toy hauler. And yeah, we, we designed this pre-pandemic, but post-pandemic, it makes space like this make even more sense. We're very excited to introduce a new patent pending feature in our Striker toy hauler lineup. And it's gonna be available in all of our floor plans that have our north-south bed. So you always had a king bed in a Striker, but now you get our patent pending king bed slide. So very easily, I can shift this king bed over and create more space up front for me to get dressed, sit down, put on my shoes, relax, uh, and just create a more functional, usable space up front. Please be sure to visit your local dealer to check out our new Striker Toy Hauler lineup. I think you're going to like what you see.